guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lila. This is my channel where I usually talk and share all about the plant today. So for today's video is about plant of the day video sharing. So the plant of the day for today is guys, Tara Monstera Albo. Yeah, this Monstera Albor Borsigiana is my pride and joy during my plant and fire journey. So yeah, uh, as a sharing plant of the day today for this Monstera Albor, I also will do the reporting video as well. So, okay, basically for the plant of the day sharing, I will share about the soil, the water requirement, for the light requirement, and propagation method, and apa lagi ya? Soil, water, lights, fertilizing, and support. Yeah. So for this one, make sure for this um, Monstera Albo, uh, basically this Monstera Albo, uh, this one is still in a nursery pot. If you have seen my unboxing video for this Monstera Albo Borsigena, I bought this Monstera Albo for Mr. Api, the person. Uh, the seller also that I bought, uh, same seller as I bought my Monstera Adansonia Indo Variegated. Uh, I, I said in the past video, I really love this person. I really love this plant seller because why? The, they package the plant very well. The plant is really healthy. The, the roots of the plant is very really steady. So that's why, uh, that's why whenever I order any type of plant from uh, the plant seller that I usually uh, buy my plants, uh, my worry is uh, my worry is a bit less because yeah even though the plants is stretched too much from the shipping environment for the shipping process but still they are, we still can uh, manage to rehab the plant very well okay meanwhile like talking about this monstera albo plant of the day sharing i will do some i will do uh, i will do the things that i want to do with this monstera albo albonia Yes, okay. So the soil mixture for this Monstera Albo, can guys, uh, for sure any Monstera or any philodendrons also same. So that's why, for sure this uh, Monstera Albo, they also don't, uh, they also required a very porous, a very chunky soil mixture. So for the light requirement, guys, for the light requirements for this Monstera Albo. Since Monstera Albo is a variegated plant, alamak, alamak. give me a minute. Ooh, wow, wow. Wait, 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 wait. show you the 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 roots alama alama ada tu sudah dia nah guys so alah wow oi so nice so healthy so yeah the reason why uh, we need very porous a very chunky soil mixture you already sebutkan sorry guys now we are in a what light kan okay Okay, since I buy this, okay, before we go to the light frequency, since I buy this Monstera Albo, uh, there are one, two, three, four leaves sudah yang uh, grow in my care. So yeah, oh, okay, this one is very, have a good root sudah. Okay, my friends, call soon, be ready. <laughs> And I lost one leaf, this one, a very very nice uh, leaf with half of the green and also half of white variegation during during the one of the uh, event in One Stop Botani. But it's okay, I don't I don't mind because yeah, that is the risk. Uh, I didn't I didn't prasan bagus. I'm too excited for the uh, event. So yeah, 
since this monster alba is a very gated plant, they are uh, exactly required lots and tons of bright light. It is the general requirement for all of the variegated plants uh, in order for them to photosynthesize because this white variegation on the leaf is a need more light for them to photosynthesize so that's why that's why but yeah um but yeah for me for my monstera alba the location for this alba is uh, I put in south facing window which is a little bit uh, which is three or uh, four feet away from the south facing window but yeah still receive uh, tons and lots of bright light every day from from morning until the evening time so yeah that's why that's why I just got my vaccine today guys so my side effect for today after vaccination is I'm a bit of hyperactive. Hyperactive, adore. Keep looking for food. So what is your vaccination effect, guys? Are you the person? Ah, uh, ada mak. Lama. Oops. This one batu. Ada something missing. Saya macam menggunakan pafka lo di atas tu. Apa susu saya tutup? Okay. Tapi sebelum rendam pafka, I think I'm gonna put a pafka uh, as one of the media for this monster album. But I didn't soak any pafka yet, so I'll come back after this. Okay, I come back, guys. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is my second time. Uh, adjusting and uh, checking this monstera alba yeah hey, I keep distracted kan so for the light requirement I put this again I put this monstera alba Brasigiana and on the south facing window uh, four feet away from my window so and that's why this alba also receiving a good amount of light every day and then uh, she sit next to the humidifier this humidifier i have a, i have another one uh, in my plant room okay so yeah for the elbow uh, if the leaf if the newest leaf is kind of too much green no white like this one don't worry guys you just give them more lights uh, as you can see this leaf is the variegation only a bit here but then the newest one after I remove to another spot which is receiving a good amount of light and then you see the variegation is came back so yeah you need to play uh, play along with the light with the light supply and also with the the position of your elbow. For the water requirement for this elbow, I only water when I touch. Okay, when I touch, when I feel the leaf is already slim, ka, thin, ka, something like that, lah. Uh, you, if you, if you familiar with your all of your plants. Every time you touch your plant, they some feel that the leaf is uh, feel like thirsty or something uh, less nutrient. You can you can feel that. So that is how I know when I want to water all of my plants if they have a thin leaf like mine, like this elbow as well, and the rest of the philodendron like Berlin marks like the. Uh, Bipani folium. Okay. okay. For fertilizing uh, Monstera alba, for the fertilizing of Monstera alba, uh, this alba uh, sit in the nursery pot 
and because of that uh the nursery report eh the nursery report <laughs> nursery report guys adoy the nursery soil mixture kan um already have the osmocot fertilized so yeah the osmocot fertilized can can stand longer for six six seven months so yeah i only give this elbow uh, filter water so yeah i think i think so far she's doing good and i also have one of my liquid fertilizer when i feel i want to use that liquid fertilizer uh, to water this elbow then i will use it if not i just uh, I just okay lah. I just let it be. For the pots, uh, same as well, guys. No plants are very particular which and what pot you will using. But yeah, this uh, same as well for this elbow. So you can use any pot you want, as long as the pot have a drainage hole on the bottom. Okay, something sudah dia. Inilah dulu tau. And now for the propagation. Okay. Since we are in this uh, topic of propagation, uh, to be honest, I don't know and I don't dare to propagate this elbow. But for today, I will do a layering propagation. <laughs> because it's since I received this elbow, it's quite long time already since i promised with calcium that we will change and sweep cutting with her jose bueno jose bueno jose bono and yeah i decided last night okay i think it's ready for you to do the layering after i saw my uh this pillow the ramping princess <laughs> she is doing well even though i discovered the the roots with the this plastic foil i just make a simple cover of a layering for this elbow until until i think she's ready to cut <coughs> bismillah guys it's because i do a lot of research about the propagation of monstera elbow it's quite tricky so i didn't really want to take the risk until yeah so i think the best way is for me is to use this method lah by a layering them So yeah guys, I think that's it. <laughs> Boleh lah kan? Can I cover you with Velcro? Nala. Jadi aku pun nak. maintain the moisture on this part of the monstera elbow usually i will use a damp sphagnum moss and then i will put the the sphagnum moss on top of the plant on top of the plant sorry on the top of the pot right so yeah guys this is a plan of day sharing of monstera elbow I don't know what what else that I should share with you guys about this monstera elbow, but yeah, if you have any question or have have any uh, inquiry about monstera elbow or any of the plants that you have or any variegation plant that plants that you have in your house, you may leave a comment down below. I might be able to answer them as well. Yeah, done, guys. I already I think I'm done with the. Reporting. 
quick propagation method which is a layering your monstera albo so that is that guys for this video i hope you enjoy this plan of the day sharing and if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys feel free to click the subscribe button so that you won't miss any video or any updated video from me if you already subscribing me guys thank you so much for your support thank you so much for your subscribing uh for your subscribing yalla kan i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart last but not least hari kita bersama masa kan sahabat ni dah ramai selamat thank you very much sehingga kita berjumpa lagi guys di video yang akan datang bye bye sip sudah dia